Welcome to the OSSAA training tape for week five. I'm Ethan Rowland, the OSSAA mechanics coordinator. This week, we're going to revisit blindside blocks. Rule 2310 says, a blindside block is a block against an opponent other than the runner who does not see the blocker approaching. Rule 943N says, no player shall execute a blindside block outside of the free blocking zone with forceful contact unless initiated with open hands. What does forceful contact mean? According to the 2019 NFHS edition of the Reading Study Guide, forceful can be generally interpreted to mean that if the opponent is not knocked to the ground, the contact is not forceful. Blindside blocks include, but are not limited to, a crackback block toward the spot of the snap. We're going to take a look at a couple of illegal crack back blindside blocks, and then we're going to look at a couple of blindside blocks that are legal. Although the video quality makes this play more difficult to see, it is obviously a blindside block. Keep your focus on these two players. The slot back is still the back judge's key. He immediately goes inside and makes forceful contact on an opponent who does not see him coming. This is a blindside block. This is a foul. We would like for the back judge to recognize this action by his key. The immediate slant inside should raise his antenna for a possible illegal blindside block. When this occurs, the back judge should stay with his key a little bit longer to make sure this block is legal. Now let's look at a play that has all the elements of an illegal blindside block. However, there is not forceful contact. On this play, there is an unusual formation. The center and quarterback are off screen to the right. After the snap, there's a broken play. Watch number 50 in the red uniform. He is in position to make an illegal blindside block. He does not lead with his hands. However, the opponent did not go to the ground, so this contact would not be considered forceful. This is not an illegal blindside block. Our final play is an example of a blocker using the open hand technique. The outside receiver slants immediately to the inside, indicating the possibility of an illegal block. However, when he gets to the opponent, he uses the open hand technique and makes legal contact. This is a great example of a legal blindside block using open hands. Thank you for watching the OSSAA Week 5 training tape. Rules knowledge is important, but it's also important to be in the proper position to administer the rules. For more information about OSSAA mechanics and rules, please visit the OSSAA Arbiter page. For questions, you can contact OSSAA Rules Interpreter David Gore or OSSAA Mechanics Coordinator Ethan Rowland. And don't forget, every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock is our statewide conference call.